Dan Perry here with another Dan on Tech Active Directory video for Northeast State Community College. When you're creating your Active Directory structure, you create your organizational units, then you start putting objects in it. The object that we use the most is the user. Your Active Directory users allow your actual users of your system to log in to computers. The user objects have a number of attributes. Some of the most common are your user principal name, first and last name, login name, phone numbers, address information. Of those attributes, the vast majority are not used. Most companies will use first and last name. You have to have the user principal name and login name, uh, maybe the phone numbers and addresses. The other attributes are, are not as regularly used. The bigger the company, the more likely they are to use those. If a company is using, say, Microsoft Exchange Server, they're very likely to use a lot more of those objects. So if we go in and look at an Active Directory instance, and here I'm in a server, and the server is... Um, has Active Directory Administrative Center running, which is the new way of managing. The old uh, administrative tools are still there as well, users and computers. Uh, you'll see that the built-in folders are there. The domain controllers is the only built-in OU. There are some other folders, and I have created a uh, My Users object. So I've got the, and I double clicked on the my, my Users or Organizational Unit and opened it up, and you see that there are no users in it yet. It's empty. There's no computers or anything. So under my My Users, I'm going to come over here and say New, and I'm going to create a new user. And when I create my new user, I get a screen with the different properties that I can do for user. I can scroll down and see there are a lot of things available here. That's just under the basic account. If I click on organization, members of, password settings, you can see there's a lot of things that I can add. The things that have the asterisks there are required. So I basically can put a full name and a username in and save that object. I'm going to go in and put a first name. And what you'll notice is I do the first, middle, and last. It fills in the full name for me. If I didn't want to fill it in that way, it could have gone straight down and typed in the full name. If I want to change the full name the way it looks, I can change that as well. Now, I'm going to set a login name. And I'm going to use Bebob here. It pre-fills that uh, with the SAM account name because by default they are identical. And I have to give it an initial password enable to save it and have it uh, turned on or enabled. If I don't put a password, it can create that account, but it will automatically be disabled. So I'll type my password in, and the protect from accidental deletion would basically give me a warning and make sure I have ele elevated privileges before I could delete that user. At this point, I'm going to leave everything else as the default and go ahead and say OK, and it's now created that user. So that's the very basics of users in Active Directory. In a follow-up video, we're going to look more at the different attributes and the properties that are available. Thank you for watching this Dan on Tech video for Northeast State Community College. Please subscribe to this playlist so you don't miss future videos.